So from now on, we will do a little bit more advanced absolute value equation, such as four w plus five equal to two w minus three. The reason this one is a little bit harder, or even way harder, because both sides have the absolute box. Okay, so this case, you may centering on one side only, and treat them the other side as a regular expression. So, I'm gonna centering on this is my absolute value. Then I'm gonna treat them. This is the regular polynomial expression. Then this become absolute 4w plus 5 equal to 2w minus 3. The reason we can do this way because you know the in this case we can generate four different uh, equation pattern such as 4w plus 5 equal to 2w minus 3 or 4w plus 5 equal to negative 2w minus 3 or negative 4w plus 5 equal to 2w minus 3 or negative 4w plus 5 equal to negative 2w minus 3. So now we can generate four different category here. That's the reason you know we can just uh, make as a one centering one, and then two of them will be the same and uh, generate the same answer. So I can explain more detail maybe um, maybe the other video or in the classroom. But anyway, because of this reason, you just uh, think one side as as an absolute value box, the other side just normal polynomial okay then you can make this equation 4w plus 5 equal to 2w minus 3 and then or 4w plus 5 equal to negative 2w minus 3 so then it become just a general uh, equation so subtract 2w at the same time minus 5 as well then 2w equal to negative 8 so divide by 2 then w equal to negative 4 or from here you distribute so 4w plus 5 equal to negative 2w plus 3 and plus 2w at the same time minus 5 so become 6w equal to negative 2 and you divide by 6 then w becomes negative 1 over 3 okay if you do centering on this one as absolute box, you will get exactly the same those two answers. That's why we can centering on only one part. Okay? Now, next one. So, what about these questions? Negative absolute 5q minus 3 equal to 2q plus 1. So, as we did before, we can only consider one side is absolute box. But, here, look it carefully. So, the last time we talked about that, negative absolute negative 5 equal to negative 5 because of this negative sign, right? And then, you know that this absolute value must be positive and positive time negative become wow this become always 
negative value here. Now, conceptually, can absolute value be able to get negative answer? No. So this is false situation. So become no answer. One more time. Because of this sign, this whole thing become negative value. I don't know what value will be. But no matter what, what do we do? This will be negative value. And this absolute value cannot be negative. That's why this equation should be no answer. Now, one last question which is a little bit hard, which is this one. Absolute 6x minus 3 equal to x minus 2. But it is the same way we can do that. So just make 6x minus 3 equal to x minus 2 or 6x minus 3 equal to negative x minus 2. Okay? Then this become just minus x at the same time plus 3. Then 5x equal to 1. And divide by 5, then x equal to 1 over 5. Or, now distribute, then 6x minus 3 equal to negative x plus 2. So from here, you combine x, at the same time combine 3 both sides, then 7x equal to 5 and divide by 7, then x equal to 5 over 7. So those two answers.